Uh, all right, YouTube. Uh, today we're going to play a little bit of Blue Red Delver. This is Austin Collins' deck. It's just right in the straight 75 that he, uh, I think, lost to Harlan Fear in the, uh, in the, what, quarters of SEG New York? How's it going, Tannen? You think so? Yeah, I think this deck's pretty sweet. But it's kind of it's kind of nice. I mean, the difference between this and like Rich Callie's deck is that you know you have more interaction at sacrificing some of the card advantage to light up the stage. But we're gonna play this one later. But we're gonna start off with this one here, Competitive Legacy. God, I wish I had played Days in my Legacy deck or Days in my Modern deck. Excuse me. Mm. Yeah, I really like the blue-red decks. I don't know. I just like all of the decks at this point. Like, I've played... I like I have four decks that I want to play. But I don't have... Yeah, the light of the stage was better than I thought it was going to. Like, your deck's much more like a... Velo like, Rich Callie's version is much more just velocity-based. And, you know, just running your opponent out of resources, I guess. But it didn't interact as well. I would assume it would be much worse against, like, Storm or something like that. Which, like, I'm just absolutely terrified of Storm. Like, I think the Storms... I think the Storm in the hands of, like, a confident player is, like, the best deck in the format. I think. Like... Your 12 cantrips, 8 discard spells, fast mana, like, that deck is scary. Like, I always struggle to beat that deck with Delver unless I'm playing black. Yeah, dude, I mean, I don't know. Like, even, I don't know a lot about, like, the legacy world rankings, I guess. But, I mean, the guy seems to be the most vocal player, with the, in my opinion, the best deck. I mean, even Bob Huang today on Twitter said that, you know, Ant was the best deck. Kind of joking. Yeah, see, the thing there is, like, are we, is it, you know, how's it going, Drake? It's like, are, are we joking? Not a lot, Drake. Because, like, like, if Cy Cyrus is, you know, probably not the best legacy player in the world because there are people that play, have played longer than he has yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's playing the best deck, plays it well. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> All right. Oh, on the die roll. Sweet. We have the Hearthstone Heater. All right. Starting off the stream on a nice note. Yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe my opponent will show us a a one lander that we can wasteland. Should I even like play my wasteland on turn one? I'm not even going to. I'm just gonna hope my opponent, like the second the land doesn't do it, I'm gonna hope my opponent's hand sucks. They keep a one lander and have to uh, fetch a duel to scry. I can just waste it. The second land doesn't do anything. That might be above my head. I did not think about that, Drake. I did not think about that. Shuffle. Oh, they shuffled. Sometimes that means you got the one lander. Shuffle off the ponder after fetching a duel. Oh, they got legacy. Yes. How greedy is it of me to just do it again? Because, like, I don't have a young pyromancer in my hand. If I draw a young pyromancer, I'll play my land. 
Because who knows? They might fetch a duel again. Whatever. I'm going to do it. Okay, so what do you actually get from playing it unless we have, like, Young Pyromancer or Trinity Nemesis in our hand? Oh, that bastard. Wised up. They play a duel. They just, just natural draw a duel. Yeah. Well, if we draw a running land into true name, yes, we do feel a little dumb. We do feel a little dumb. You are right about that. <clears throat> They chose to not shuffle, so I'm not going to mess with this. Man, I'm going to turn this thing off here. Oh, so we are playing in Storm. Okay. I kind of want to force this. My opponent's got nothing but spells in their hand, and they just used their black source. I think I'm going to force this. Because, like, they, they easily, they have, five, they have five spells. I can just go discard spell into more rituals. And I will ditch free rain. I would be a little less inclined if they didn't use, you know, like a lotus petal to do it, but like they had an actual, I don't know if they were sitting on a black source. <clears throat> they shuffled. All right. All right, am I dead? Duress, this means I'm dead. Oh yeah, Dark Petition. Dark Petition can get um, Ad Nauseam. They can Ad Nauseam. My Lion's Eye Diamond, that makes sense too. Infernal Tutor, Crack for Red. Go get Past and Flames. I guess I'll, I'll make them show it to me. And then I'll scoop it up here. Because we are dead as a doorknob. You got it. You got it. Okay. So we get Storm. I want these, the Electricaries. And then I probably want some number of Pyroblasts, but I don't know if I can necessarily fit all of those in here. But I do have a lot. Like, I definitely want these. This is like the maybe category. Um, not vapor snags definitely coming out. Some number of all of these chain lightnings are gonna lightning bolt, fork bolt. These are all coming out. I did see Clay's deck list, yeah. Yeah, I did see that. I haven't like looked it over a lot yet, but I'll definitely check it out at some point. Um I'd like to leave some number of lightning bolts in just to like keep fast, but I probably can't keep that many of them. True Name Nemesis is probably pretty slow. I just want to see what this looks like. I don't think I can, I don't, oh, I put them in the wrong pile. I'm not really sure that I can board this aggressively.
Oh, there's only 59 cards in my deck. I did get all messed up. Probably one more true name. The third, three pirate last is probably redundant. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. I'm okay with all the pyro. But you have to. Snap them off right away. Yeah, you just have to jam it. And would you cut it? Would you cut a young pyromancer or a true name for it? Both are kind of slow and mopey. This one gets out of hand a little faster though, so it's probably this. Yeah, I mean, I, I always, I never sandbag my pyroblasts. Those things always get snapped off as soon as possible. Whoop. Yeah, to make sure you can pitch. Man, if this was a fetch land, I would love this hand. I think I'm going to mulligan. Yep. Ugh. Ugh. Tweaking out. Moto, please. All right. Yeah, I mean, what you gonna do? Put this on top. Fetch land go. Probably gonna play my foothills. It's the worst fetch land in the delta, but whatever. <laughs> uh. Oh no, I definitely should have played my vault because I would just fluster storm a discard spell anyways. And now I'm going to shuffle away my top card. That was stupid. Yeah, well, I'm just going to... Yeah, see, now I'm stupid. Now I just lost that on a ponder. I kind of, like, got... Saying that I, I tilted off is... I did not... I lost focus over our lack of good luck. Yeah, I just lost focus. Because, like, I obviously want the top card. I don't... I'll probably have to fluster storm on turn one. All right. You get a fluster storm. I get a fluster storm. We all get fluster storms together. <clears throat> no. Yeah, that was just agree. I was just frustrated. And I was like, I'm just gonna play my fetch land. Not thinking about it. Joke's on you. What do you got, man? All right. They hit me. Are they gonna turn one me through what would be two counter spells? I guess. Oh wow. I don't really know what's going on there. Yeah, dude, you can get that out of my face. Just gonna counter anything I get the chance to counter here. Very confused with what my opponent did there. Like, were they were they just like a mana short? They had two mana and an alliance eye diamond. So they must have been a mana short from the from the uh, having to use the fluster storm. <clears throat> hmm. All right, now we have a cripple fight. 
Uh, might as well play this land. Well, I might be loose if I draw a true name that I, I spew two fetch lands, but I would like to shuffle back the lands in my hand. Not much, Tommy Clean Socks. We're just getting worked over here. Just gonna spell pierce anything. I mean, they can pay for this, but like if they have, if they don't have past in flames, then it doesn't make sense to bust the LED. And it might not even make sense at that point to do it. All right. I'm wearing dirty socks. All right. You get a brainstorm. Come on, all right? It has been a rough start to the stream. Maybe my opponent will like ad nauseum and go to three. Gross, I'm just joking, you're a wonderful person. The politeness of Twitch chat. All right, you got it. So you just go get past in flames and kill me. Maybe they'll get an ad nauseum. You never know. Holy shit. All right. <clears throat> Can they just kill me with passing flames? I don't know. They're, they're probably playing around something. Except for Dylan, that you're goddamn right. Ooh. Come on, buddy. Thought sees me. Come on. Reveal an Infernal Tutor. Thought sees me. Oh, you bastard. I saw him at that duress. And I'm just like, what? Because they can go Cabal Ritual. Did they even hit anything? Cabal Ritual. They literally, literally bricked. I wasn't really paying attention because I just assumed I was dead, but they actually just bricked. Like they, they can they can whatever cantrip into something. But I think they like they got a cabal ritual. Yeah, like they played this, they played this preordained. Lotus Petal doesn't do anything. They played this too. Preordained again. Our opponent split one and one. Another lotus petal. All right. All right. Dark ritual is not good.
Cast Thoughts Ease. All right. And they did it. Okay. We did. Well, that. Both teams tried hard. There. Put up a good fight. I'm going to grab my computer glasses before my eyes get sore. So hang on. Take a nap. All right, here we go. We get to do some stuff this game. Land Delver. All right, flip for me, Delver. Whoa. They pitched a daze, too. I thought it was the cool days. I do not have the cool days. What is going on there? My opponent does not have an answer to like a no. And then they just scooped it up. All right. Sometimes that'd be how it'd be. So we're playing against Delver. And I actually like, so like I don't necessarily like Pyroblast a lot in the Delver mirrors because like it can be a little narrow. But considering these blue red decks have such a hard time with tuning Nemesis. I am a pretty big fan of the blasts. I don't like pierces or vapor snags. Yeah, Delver OP. I know I want to cut at least some of these Force of Wills. Extra removal is always good. Flusterstorm is also... Flusterstorm is okay. Like, it's kind of like a spell pierce that like wins it. My, my opponent, I, I went to go play a Delver on turn one, and they went to force it, and I dazed it, and then they went to their turn and conceded. And they forced, they pitched a daze. Now I'm going to bring in one more, one electric hurry, because it's like a, it's like a, whatever it is, a catch-up mechanic. Let me make sure I got enough blue cards. There's all 25 blue cards. Oh, I remember when I played this deck through through a league. <laughs> yeah. I remember when I played this deck through a league earlier. The one thing I didn't like about it was there were only two Valks. I kind of wanted a third Valk. Yeah, I played I played a league of it right after Austin did really well, and I was like, dude, where? But I think I need a third Valk because I would just like because basic mountain doesn't really do anything. How's it going, Cody? Um, I will keep my hand. Oh, so we're playing the rug. Oh, we're playing its infect. All right. I would assume a lot of the same things apply. I don't know if they play like, I always remember like, I haven't played, I haven't played against Infect in a while, but I remember hearing like Tom, uh, Tom Ross stories of like the one of Wastelands or whatever. So I just played my fetch land out there. All right. I went to the open with him that he first top eight with the deck. Oh, nice. Well, you guys live near each other, right? Mm 
I'm gonna win it in. So I just play this Pyromancer, not be a coward. What is B? BM is going to be great for three game three if that happens. What does that mean? I died to that stifle. <laughs> Kind of uh, chain lightning. This when they can spell pierce is probably kind of loose. Oh, blood moon. Okay, I kind of just want to play my pyromancer and like hope, but that's also probably not great. So I'll just pass. Cody Jones. Um, we're doing uh, Grand Prix Niagara. They just rented all of us an Airbnb. If you're into that, <coughs> no blocks. I'm dead. This ends the breakup while my money goes bills. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm dead six ways to Sunday here. All right, so what is that? Just one, we, we're not even kicking it? All right. Five. But I'm at 25 life. What is up with that? All right. So I would assume Electricery is probably good. We probably have to sideboard much differently. I'm assuming these true names aren't good. Um, a braid is probably fine. Someone said Blood Moon in the chat. I probably just had to like completely change how I sideboard because. I would assume these blasts get much worse now because it's a fight over the creatures and the pump spells aren't even blue. I have to fit in like what I want to fit in now. I know I don't want these. Like these are gone. The blood moon seems kind of medium. Like, I don't necessarily think I'm going to have time to just jam this on turn three. To be honest, Young Pyromancer doesn't even sound that great either, but, like, you can only have so many, you need to have so many threats. Like, Young Pyromancer just sounds slow. Because they can invigorate over, or whatever, berserk over the wall. It does kill Blighted Agent, which you're right. I see what this looks like. So I'm I'm gonna go and say we have enough cards to kill. I think Flusterstorm is probably better than Spell Pierce because as we saw, they just cast like three million spells for no mana. All right. Is what we're doing. All right. I mean, this hand, like, we need a red mana, but, like, if we find Cantrip or anything, we can deal with an Ink Moth. I do not think you can mulligan this hand, but I would like a red land, preferably. I didn't have enough room to bring a card in, I don't think. And, like, I don't know. Like, I've already got a million removal spells that just deal with the creature. Um, So, basic lands are really good at the moment. And this is one of the two basic land Delver decks that I do like. I'm going to play a League of Grixis today. I would like to play four leagues today, but I don't know if I'll get to all of them. I, I might get tired.
All right. Show me ponder into a red land. All right, days isn't bad either. So I'm going to waste this. Yeah. I mean, I would like to be able to hit Ink Moth, but like, I've got other stuff. Yeah, I got four different decks that I want to play. I don't know if I'll stream them all because, you know, it's just tough, but. I think that's okay. Because I would like to be able to kill this with like Cluster Storm or something like that. Next turn, be able to fight over it. I don't know. Like, I'd much rather daze like an Invigorate when I go to kill this Blighted Agent. <coughs> yeah, that was tough. That was the first time I ever played the deck. See my opponent did here. Chose not to shuffle. All right. I guess I'm also a little nervous because I don't necessarily know what this deck's capable of. That doubles the clock. It's a little scary. Yeah, now my days is suck. Yeah, I definitely should have. I should have dazed. I probably should have dazed the ponder. If I had a red source, though, this four is going to be sweet. If Phil is over there napping up a storm, fork it over. I'll take a red source or a cantrip. I see what you did there. It was it was clever. You're clever, Tannen. Oh, you gonna let me daze this? <coughs> so they played into that because they, they knew I had it because I flipped it with a Delver. Does this deck play Wasteland? It probably is. A crop rotation deck probably can play Wasteland. No, I'm going to get a Vault because if I have to daze, I don't want to have to daze this and not be able to Fluster Storm. Oh, baby. Give me the twofer as you free my soul. I want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. I think I just spilled the cup. <laughs> That's how my version of the song goes. <laughs> I probably should have fluster stormed that. I wasn't even thinking. Uh, yeah, I should have. I definitely should have. After I like got over my sweet two for one, I just kind of zoned out. All right. And we def. I definitely should have just smoked that brainstorm. Make sure you do it right. Yeah. <laughs> Destroy target artifact. What's your plan? The nice thing about the Abrade being able to destroy an artifact is I literally don't have to commit until my opponent, like, kills me. 
It's not like lightning bolt. So that's seven, or that's that's seven total for me plus four, or I guess no, it's not quite. It's eight. Paying costs, so our opponent is delving. Right. Destroy target artifact. Let's just let's just you know make sure here. Got him. Lightning bolt would be sweet. That's still pretty good. I don't know if I was actually supposed to play that land, but like, whatever. Like, it makes it so that my opponent has days, it's a lot worse. I'm gonna fluster storm this because it lets them find like an inkmoth nexus, and I can't stop that from happening. And, like, inkmoth nexus is a 2 1. If they have something else to pump with it, you know, then I have to fight over like. Keeping my Delver alive, you know, and they might be able to keep their thing alive. I just thought, like, you know, be, them being able to play a land to stop what I'm doing would matter. You wouldn't encounter that? I guess, like, they're in the Abyss. It does shrink my Delver, so they only get, they get two more turns. Oh, you would counter that. Okay. I, I saw you say doesn't matter. I, was like, no. I always feel like brainstorm matters. All right, I would lead off. All right. We got Delver into Ponder Scary Terry. I think I'm going to get in. This is the point where I want to fetch a Valk. Because, like... If I fetch Island and then I fetch Valk and my Valk gets wasted, I'm cut off of red. So I'm going to go get a Valk. This is one of the problems that, like, I, I like having basic lands in my deck, but I hate fetching for them. You know? Because I, I always find that if I fetch basics, it screws me over more with Wasteland. Like... It's nice to have basic lands in your back pocket, but I'm not in love with them. Oh, Scary Terry. Come on, Delver. You son of a gun. Let's get rid of Terry. I kind of want to play... Now, I don't really want to play another Terramander, because if they daze my Terramander, and then they untap and bolt my Delver, I just don't really have anything going on. So, I think I'm just going to pass, scry with my Delver, develop my mana, and hang. Yeah, if they just bang. And they're singing the twofer song. Huh. Look who is smart and thin. So this is like the actual hardest part about Legacy for me is to win. Like, when do I fetch when holding a ponder? And like, my gut tells me to fetch before I ponder so that I, then I can fetch again. But now I don't have to because I can play this land. This is like the hardest part for me. I, I just never know when to fetch because like I have one of my lands is committed. Most likely my second land is committed. So if I want to do something else, I only be able to keep one card off my ponder. 
How's it going, Zach? So like th this is just the actual hardest part for me. It's like I just I don't I don't ever know what to do here. I don't think I'm going to fetch though. I think I'm just gonna play this island and ponder. Yes, but like I don't ever know if I'm supposed to like fetch or not. You know what I mean? So Vapor Snag can save Terry, which I'm kind of into, but then I have to shuffle away uh spell pierce and um I'm gonna shuffle everything away. I'm just gonna draw I'm gonna put the spell I'm gonna put the spell pierce in the bottom. I actually don't even really know if I want any of these. I know I want the brainstorm. And then I probably want the vapor snag after that. People V in front of their names. Yeah, playing Delver today. V Dylan. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go like this. Pass. If Terry gets whacked, whatever. I want to be able to bring some for days in case my opponent tries to true name me. <sighs> the problem is they can daze me back. Oh, my opponent's getting scary. So now I'm going to draw the spell pierce because if they go to fight, my spell pierce count as their spell pierce. Yep. Yeah, the hard, by far the hardest part of the format for me is knowing when do I when to fetch within my cantrips. I think. Okay, I think I'm gonna fetch in my upkeep. I mean, I guess, I guess that spell pierce would have protected me from like force of will. So maybe I should have drawn and then fetched. Yeah, I think I messed up. Okay. So, chain lightning wasteland. Next turn, Pyromancer Brainstorm. So that's pretty sweet. So I want, I can probably put back. Bleh. I probably can put back this and this because I might want access to the, the Lightning Bolt next turn. I'm going to Wasteland first because I don't want them to pick that land up. If they go to like, I guess they can't double day. If they go to double days me, I want to get that one and do this while my opponent doesn't have double red up. Okay. So you want to never cancel me? Yeah. Well, the nice thing, one of the nice thing about Hooting Mandrills is Hooting Mandrills actually attacks through um, True Name. So my opponent had to do a lot of brainstorming to find the last one here. But I could just wait to get a better brainstorm. Alternatively, I can put some pressure on the board. I think I'm going to wait one turn. I'm going to feel kind of stupid. My opponent plays true name, though. But I'm going to wait. Because then my brainstorm doesn't get dazed. Well, now I can just go Pyromancer plus Lightning Bolt. Alternatively, I can just Bolt now. So it, my, it doesn't get... Well, it's not going to get dazed. Anyways, so yeah. 
Oh, I have to fetch first so I don't get screwed. This lets me brainstorm also to make two tokens if that's the world we want to live in. Okay. All right. But Legacy, I never played both effects together. Yeah. You played uh, Daryl's Delver deck, right? Okay. All right, I'm not going to go Dave and then get Dave back. They're all pretty similar. So I think I'm going to put this back, this back, go Young Pyromancer, Ponder, and hopefully draw my days. But I stack those wrong in case this doesn't work. Yeah, maybe I was too greedy. Because now if they just kill my Pyromancer, I'm going to feel bad. Don't kill my Pyromancer. Just let me ponder like four times. Come on. Okay, so they have one card right to be a removal spell. All right, nice. So now we're gonna go nuts. So we just have a we have young pyromancer with a mana advantage. I do wish this was a ponder though. All right, I'm just gonna draw this ponder. Probably shuffle off of it, but it's just another one one. I'm pretty down for sinking one mana into a 1-1 one, one here. Jeez. God, this card is... When this card is good, it is so good. Like, I guess that wasn't even a two first, so I can't even sing the song. Makes me sad. We even have true name covered, which it's this smells like a true name. Whoa! All right, my opponent is. I'm just going to daze this. I guess I might be loose because I could play True Name. But it makes me another token. Puts a land in my hand to make Brainstorm better. And I, I kind of just want to cash it in because like they, they're obviously going to try to play around daze if they can. Going nuts. Wow. So I'm going to put back Force Land and play Delver. Come on, daze me. Guess I'll just pick up this trot walk.
The third has been, been nice. Now, am I just shipping in three damage? So it's three damage, puts them to 10. Next turn, I get in for five, eight, puts them to two. And then I've still got, yeah, I think I'm just going to attack. I might just attack with my Pyromancer too. That gives me one more damage. So this is like, they block here, they take four. Next turn, I attack for one, two, three, four, five, six. So they block here, they take four, they go to nine. Next turn, I attack for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus three is 10, yeah. You got it. Yo, you keep that electricery cell stuff to yourself. Well, I'm, Phil is like super zonking over there. Dude, don't bolt my Delver. Don't bolt my Delver. Don't do it. Oh, you suck. All right, I'm still attacking with everything because it puts my opponent to three, and it's a card. Card underneath forces a land. But I'll have three lethal attack. I'll, whatever. I'll three lethal, combination of three lethal attackers next turn. I'm just going to play my land. We know we're drawing a land. And if shit hits the fan and we ever have to hard cast this force, we're going to feel pretty silly if we don't. So you got to deal with two of these, three of these, and you block one. All right. Okay, so on the draw, I want to cut these. I want to cut, got my next sword, cut these. I think that I stream more. The more I stream, the sore, like, I have like an ergonomics problem here at my desk. You want this? You want these because snapping cantrips against a, a deck with Bedlam Reveler I think is important because like they're just filling up their graveyard but they're not fueling themselves. Yeah, I just I don't have that nice of a chair. Like it's okay. Like, it's certainly better than... I think it's, like, a, an, uh, an above-average chair. I think my problem is that, like, I'm a little overweight and I play a lot of sports. So, like, I work my body a lot. So it's, like, just tired all the time. Yeah, so yours is, yours is the below-average office chair. Three true names kind of feels like a lot. That card just like slaps so hard when it's good. And I never know if I'm supposed to bring in these fluster storms. Like, I love and hate fluster storm and delver mirrors because it always wins a counter war, but it never beats a creature. And I always think beating a creature is more important. Well, we've got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have 11 answers to Young Pyromancer. And then we have 11 plus 4 plus 3 is 14 answers to Scary Terry and um, Delver. Yeah. I'm just going to submit. Well, yeah, so I work professionally with ergonomics. So, like, I know what I need. It's just, like, what I need is expensive. I just dumped $360 on Phil again today. Man, that little guy's had it tough. So he's got this uh, 
He basically has like a wart in his ear that is totally, it's fine. Like it, it should go away. The problem is that my wife and I are going to Vermont. That was a sick draw. Well, it's not that sick because they can just pay man, pay man and do it. Um, we're going to back to Vermont when she gets married. The problem is that other dogs can get the ward. So it, the ward has to be taken care of by, by May like 8th. So I just bought some antibiotics because the last time we put them in for surgery was rough. But like antibiotics is like 160 bucks. Then we got him. I just knocked out all of his booster shots for the next like three years or whatever. Well, I guess most of them for three years. I'm just going to go Island Delver now that I'm, I've done my spiel about how it's tough to be a dog. Did you stifle me? Okay. This is one of those times where basic of having being able to just go get a basic is really nice. Nothing from my opponent there is interesting. I mean, they might be trying to play a young pyromancer. This feels like bait. I don't know, I kind of, I don't know, I don't, I can't really tell you why I didn't want, I just felt like bait to me, but it just feels like bait. Oh, wow. It wasn't bait, it was just actual, factual, my opponent's dead as a doorknob. All right, again, I'm not going to play in the days. I'm going to wait until I can you know, fire something off. All right, well now I'll lose this. Give me the two for as you free my soul. I want to get lost in the value and roll. And drift away. Drift away. This is poor sequencing from the home team. All right, what are we doing here? Are you just like hoping I'm asleep at the wheel? I guess I took my, I traded a card for my scry. Seems like a more egregious days. Like, I kind of get the force of will. Like, you know, whatever. You don't want to die on this hill. Like, you're, you're already, no. You're already, like, mana screwed. You're like, I'm not dying on this hill. So I kind of get it. Um, what am I fetch? But, like... Dazing me just to make me crack my fetch land seems kind of loose. Because, like, my opponent's kind of got to make something happen. If they just brainstorm lock themselves with an island, and I've got two Delvers in play, like, that's, that's scary shit. Like, you might as well... Try to figure something out. You can't take them home with you. That's what I think. The days was awful. The force of will is like, maybe that's one of those I'm in a bad way, whatever, force of wills. So if these Delvers flip, I'm just going to play Young Pyromancer and I'm like going to bolt my opponent to make a token if they try to kill it. Why are we doing this right now? Sure. All right, so now I'm going to attack. 
play my wasteland, play young pyromancer, and then waste my opponent. And now I'm just gonna fetch for another duel because I don't want to get cut off red. All right. That's what I said. They, they brought in two fluster storms and like, I don't know, Flusterstorm wins the combat, but it never deals with a creature. So what is this? Three, they go to eight, then they go to five, and then we go, we got them next turn, so. Because why not? That makes sense, I guess. All right, let's. Oh, we we're going on scary. One, two. Scary's not that close to going, but we might as well put it in play. Draw days. Next turn. Like, like scary's not that great at the moment, but it's just like whatever. Well, if they go land, if they go like land bolt, Days doesn't do anything, right? Which is like really what I'm worried about. I guess I guess they could like cantrip into something. And then I probably should upkeep this to because like my spell counts one, two, this would be three. So if I do it on their turn, I can beat Flusterstorm, I think. Yeah. No, I guess I don't beat Flusterstorm. Never mind, my land doesn't untap. Never mind, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. It, it didn't really matter there. I thought I, I somehow thought I would have three lands, and like I was wrong. I didn't have three lands. Yeah, like, I think I boarded, I think I boarded like this. Pretty sure that felt kind of decent. I get so worried about Pyroblast in the mirrors when I play blue red because I can't beat a resolve true name. Like, I don't really like Pyroblast as much whenever I play Grixis mirrors because like true name is is not as big of a problem because you have edict. Heater. That thing's actually pretty good. We don't need Terry number three. All right. I could be a coward and ponder for lands, but like God hates a coward. Yeah, I agree. Oh, it's like I ain't getting stifled today, son. All right. All right, so now we're going to ponder for a land. And I think my opponent's playing like Miracles or a combo deck. Hmm. Okay. I guess that's kind of a reasonable thing for my opponent to have done there. Whoa. Oh, playing a Sneaking Show. Definitely attacking. Pondering off of this. No, I was stupid. I should have pondered first because I could hit a wasteland. Oh, that was dumb. 
Do I wasteland my opponent? It sets them back so far. Yeah, that was stupid. But I think I'm going to take this Spell Pierce. And then do I want to draw the Vapor Snag or do I want to draw the Daze? Like, um, yeah, E, Transformation Point card. Transformation card, Emrakul. Aeons, Torn. I don't think I can Vapor Snag Emrakul. And Emrakul has Emrakul. This card can't be countered. Protection from colored spells. I can't. I was pretty sure that I can't. The rest is good, yes. And I'm going to take the spell pierce first. Cunning Wish. Well, that's really bad. I probably just have to counter this. Because, like... And just hope they don't have it. Because if they have it, this finds something to beat me. Yeah, like if like if he my opponent, like, I'm gonna counter this because this I think either pushes through what my opponent has or helps them find what they're looking for. And like if they have it, I lose anyways. If they're looking for it. This gets rid of a more specific card. So I think I'm going to get rid of it. And it's like, whatever. Like, if that Cunning Wish resolves, all right. Oh, man, if that Ponder would have only been a Brainstorm, we could have dazed this. Not the Ponder, okay. If you need to get Intuition. So Intuition is the card that lets you find three copies, right? I don't exactly know... I don't exactly know everything about what's going on with that yet, but um, that looked like an intuition grab. Okay, well, I don't, I just don't know enough about what's going on to know if that's an intuition grab or if that's a, you know, something else. So now I just play double Terry, and then I crack for five. And if they crack a fetch land of dead, single Terry doesn't really do anything. Because single Terry means if they crack a fetch land and go to eight, I can only put them to four. So now we're just gonna get double scary and hope it works out. All right, so if they put in Gristlebrand, but they might not have Gristlebrand. This might not be that version of it. All right, that's bad. That's pretty bad. So how do I win? I don't think I can, right? If they just take 15, I can bolt my opponent, and I'm just dead as a doorknob. They block, they take two, go to five. I can't draw a land plus brainstorm or anything. I can't vapor snag back a land. Yeah, we did. We did. All right. So I think this comes in. I think this comes in. These are maybes. And then, okay, so I've heard this really weird uh, thing from a, from a, one of my friends that plays Blue Red Delver. And he says that, like, 
Blood Moon is, is isn't awful against show and tell because sometimes it shuts off Baseju, which is a way that it really beats the blue red deck. I don't think that like he just told it to me as kind of like a thinking thing that I don't think it actually matters. But he's just like that's worth thinking about. And I was wondering, I don't know what people thought about that. It seems like nonsense to me, but but I guess I kind of understand what what I guess I understand a little bit of what they were talking about. Because like whenever I play Delver, the biggest way that I lose to Sneak and Show is Besaju. I could bring it in a braid in case they have defense grid. Yeah, I don't know if surgical is worth it either, but is, is surgical better than lava spike? You know? Even if you're talking about like a defense grid or something like that, isn't that something they commonly play? Or should we just like counter the lava spike? I guess we've got like three spell pierces that we can deal with. A defense grid with. So then if I move this pile over here and I move this pile over here. Is it? Okay. It is a card that I was thinking about. All right. Hey, Phil, leave it. Go back to sleep. You just yawn. Del Verino. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, we got some aggression. I don't want to counter this ponder, though. I don't. Whoa. Thing that's interesting, especially on the island. In case I think you're on Grixis and bought in Blood Moon. I don't think I'm going to counter this. Like, because they're mana, they, they take so much mana to invest, and I want to go like Terra Manor plus Dude, then I think I'm going to let this go. Like, Yeah, baby. Well, now I'm just gonna now I'm just gonna attack. Uh, get scary and pass. The next turn I can ponder. There's something I never know in this matchup is that I don't know if I'm supposed to like, because against like Storm, I counter like every, I counter most of the cantrips because my cantrips aren't, my soft spells aren't that great because their deck's not very clunky. But against Sneak and Show, I always want to make them put, like commit three mana before I counter anything it feels like. So like, I think I'm just going to let this go. Like that, that's, a, that's like what my brain tells me to do. I don't know if that's right to do or not. And I'm not obviously not going to do it every time either because like things change. I guess I could daze that because daze isn't going to get that much better. And then we have like the same old thing here. Sick, I have a brain brag. <laughs> this is literally the hardest part about playing Delver is turns like this. Where it's like, do I crack one of my fetches before I ponder? Do I crack none of my fetches? Like, I want to use this. But I guess I don't have all my mana guaranteed. So I'm going to start by attacking. And then I'm going to crack this flooded strand and ponder.
We won't play our land first, so it makes it look like we're looking for a land. Whew. That's a nice set of cards. So I think the best card is the Blast. Second best is the Zest. So we're going to go like this. Go get this so that I can fetch an island if I need to. The thing is, they're just down three mana to start the counter war, right? Well, that's rude. I think I have scary on the bottom, too. All right, let all this resolve. And then days the the original pyroclasm. How close are we to getting scary going? One, two, three, just not close. I almost like don't like Terramander as much without like light up the stage. I don't know. Oh, that's nice. So I don't think we need to get, we don't need another Terry. So let's fetch in our upkeep, get an island. All right. Now we get another island. I do like it. With, that's not a bad draw. I do like it with light up the stage, though. One, two, three, four, five. I probably should have counted that before I wastelanded my opponent. I didn't think that it was going to be enough, but I would have felt pretty stupid if I could have just adapted Scary Terry and I didn't. Yeah. But again, these blue red Delver decks aren't as good against combo. Anyways, so maybe you're just not super supposed to worry about that. I don't know. Peter. Actual good hand. I think we're gonna have time for that. So I'm not going to fetch because I can daze a Blood Moon. And I, they saw a basic Myelin, so I don't think we're going to have to worry about Blood Moon. And right here, if my opponent just goes jam with Force of Will back up, then like, you know, well done. Come on. Yeah. Um, I think I'm just going to wait and brainstorm. Our hand's pretty good. You're all right about that. I'm going to like, give myself the option to brainstorm. Delver. Let's 
So now I play Young Pyromancer off of Valk Wasteland. I guess I could have brainstormed Fluster. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Brainstorm Fluster, Wasteland, my days is still good. You're right. That was that was that was a mistake on my part. So now I'm just gonna play Pyromancer and not do anything and then waste my opponent next turn, I think. Have Fluster Storm plus Oh. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm just going to fluster storm this because my opponent needs land plus show and tell plus payoff out of the top four cards of their deck and they don't get the cantrip into it. Yeah. Like, and if they would have it, they would need to have very good cards in order to have it. So I'm going to get an island just in case. I don't, I don't want to fluster storm my pyromancer. So I definitely should, I should have killed um, whatever it was. That likely means we're in pretty good shape. I'm gonna wasteland and then ponder on my turn because I kind of like the days, unless the card I draw is egregious, but like I get more looks at things that I want. Oh God. Well, we got punked. Well, that's sad. Rut row. There's hope it's like an omniscience, I guess. Sad. That's sad. All right, last one of this league. Dazing in case of sneak attack probably would have been good. The problem is, is, like, without black discard, that doesn't do anything, right? Unless we can kill them next turn, which we can't. Do -do 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 -do. Man. Right. It is not. It is not. That'll be one. I'll do that in one of them coming up here in a second. So what do we got here? Reanimator. Phoenix or Grixis. I think I'm just going to pass. There's a lot of ways that we would have just died there. Yeah, so we're definitely playing against Grixis. Which I don't want to I don't want to spell I don't want to spell Pierce's Ponder for playing against Grixis. Okay. See, I don't know what to do, which is like, ugh. 
Like navigating my fetch lands around cantrips is the hardest thing for me to do. Because like I can go ponder, but if I fetch first and I find a delver, I can only, it, it's a blind flip. Do I just fetch twice to my brainstorm shit? I mean, maybe I just brainstorm and then ponder after that if I don't hit. Which sounds like the best to me. This is likely garbage. Like it might hit a Gurmag Angler. What are we holding up on here? Well, now I almost don't even want to counter this. Unless they have a Wasteland, which makes me think we're playing a Delver Mirror because they have a Spell Pierce, not Grixis. I can shuffle with the Ponder next turn. If they daze me, that's going to kind of suck. But it sets them back. I don't know, kind of a tough turn. Like, my brainstorm's not that great now. It's really not that great. My brainstorm just replaced the spell pierce, basically. So I kind of want to get rid of the vapor snag and the force. I want to keep all my other cards. So I think I'm just going to force this. They forced me back, though. It's so awful. I can shuffle away, like, either of the two bad cards. Okay, so we hit one of the bad cards. I gotta find, I gotta get something going on here. I'm not gonna, even though we know our bottom, the card directly underneath is poor. Okay, so that's pretty nice. So I can put this back and then this. And then maybe hope that this force of will just be, it does it for me. All right. All right. Does that play Wastelands? I don't even know. So I'm going to get, I don't think it plays back to basics main deck. All right, well, we got a Jace out of it, which means my opponent must have, like, I don't know. I guess I guess it doesn't really mean a lot, because even if they keep Jace, the true name resolves. Bird is the word. All right. Okay. So after all that, my opponent really has nothing going on. But we missed on our first draw step. Line that spur line. I guess they had that little whatever that two two. All right, that's pretty nice. I'm assuming my the first one here is gonna die. But like, 
such as life. That's why we got a second one. Get that at six value. I need some water. All right, the full retail force of force of will from our opponent. You guys want to see Twitch chat? You want to see something cute? I'm going to take you. You ready to go for a ride? I don't know if you can see this or not. But Philly Boy is just taking a little nap. He's bent over the couch chair or the couch cushion so he can use it as a pillow. He's just snoring up a storm over there. It does kind of suck that our top card is dead for next turn, but maybe my opponent will just brick. Like, they might want to put, like, they could draw, like, Liliana the Veil here. Okay. Okay. So we get to one for one with a Liliana, which is really nice. Yeah, Black Lab. All right, I'm going to hold the land. Not going to attack. And then I'm going to cantrip into like four more cantrips. So our opponent's getting that F6 value. All right, well, now we can start getting in. Offer a trade of the, the elemental for this. My opponent is flooding out. All right, well, now I'm going to play my land. Your fill is the man. That's probably not good for the home team. It's actually not bad. I get my force, okay. Now I wish I had my land still. Cantrip. There's no point in using this or not using this. I don't really want to attack because they'll just trade and then they can eat this. But I am just going to play my land and not do anything with it. Because, like, it doesn't really matter. They've got, what, seven mana? I need to kill this Baleful Strix. Sheesh. All right, well, now that I have five mana, I guess I'll just... I'm going to waste this Polluted Delta because it deals my opponent a point of damage and it negates them a shuffle, I guess. It, it's pretty minute, but I think it's better than just sitting there and doing nothing. They let it happen, which, you know, whatever. <coughs> When you get edicted, 
Come on. Nice. Come on. Okay. That's all right. I mean, we, we get out from the Liliana for one more turn unless my opponent hits. It's a nice hit. I appreciate all the follows that have been coming through. I, I keep it I keep it muted because I put everything on YouTube, but I try to catch through it randomly. Like, all right, well, oh, they don't have a push in here at all. Wild. All right, well, Louis CBR, Grateful Head, uh, Cartesian, SS, uh, SSS NAS, Triple S NAS. Appreciate all that. Why would anyone not play four of a card that's restricted in vintage? I do not know. I do not know enough about vintage to talk intelligently about that. All right, they chose not to shuffle. All right, now we've got to start hitting like some cantrips because my opponent's gonna start um or oh, oh they got a tarp it creepy so I can't block anything which kind of sucks but at least that deals with this I'm just gonna do this right now because when I have to do it anyways it might cut them off mana We're pretty close to being just dead as a doorknob. Like, if we just chain off into a bunch of cantrips, like, maybe we'll get there. Is it Lodestone Golem restricted? Thought it was. I don't know. Isn't every artifact restricted in Vintage? Because they won't restrict the land. Lotus land. All right. This has been such a slow demoralizing death. Scary Terry. All right. So Fluster Storm. Pyroblast. Hell, even Electricery might not be that bad. So what we saw. We're going to about cards I'm not interested in. Like Vapor Snag. Nope. Chain Lightning's probably not that good. I could also just cut like a bunch of my Wastelands. I like doing this against Control Decks. Like just cutting all my Wastelands. Going down really low on mana. Like, what if I just go like this? No, I'm going to play a light of the stage one. I think probably, I might play Grixis Control next, because I don't want to play that one when I'm, you know, after four leagues, because that's kind of tough. I have nine cantrips. All right. Electric. The second electric is probably worse than a chain lightning. I don't. I don't know enough about Tinker. Well, we might not necessarily won the game, but it would have kept us going. I'm going to lead on an island because I don't necessarily want to. Um, like I'll probably spell pierce something because I can play my pyromancer. Like they might be digging for a way to kill my pyromancer. All right, well, that's nice. 
Cut down to 14 lands, draw three. This card tends to be kind of a manhandler against decks like this. But I'm sure they have, you know, their fair share of Toxic Deluge and Marsh Casualties in their deck. So is that the sideboard? I'm just going to, I'm going to daze this because they're not going to Baleful Strix me and it makes a 1-1. One, one. <coughs> And if they had Fatal Push, they would just go Land Push and not Brainstorm. I am not going to play the second one, though. We have this plus covered. Again, I don't really want to commit anything else to the board because I'm so, I'm like super afraid of Marsh Casualties or Toxic Deluge. So I think we're just going to, we're just going to hang on. It's not even like I can make a play to put my opponent dead on board. Jeez. So now do I play Pyro and Terry? Because they just used their Deluge. They could easily have Snapcaster Mage, though, and that would suck. But if I don't play Terry... This deck plays four Snapcaster Mages, right? Probably do. It's going to take a while to adapt Scary Terry, though. Chase. It's another thing I was kind of afraid of. Like, if we just play one threat into this Jace and they kill my Pyromancer, I can't deal with the Jace. I'll play my land in case my opponent is some weird let me make sure I did that right one one <clears throat> one two three so if I play scary Terry out I have snapcaster mage covered but if I play Scary Terry out, I can uh, adapt it next turn and crack in for a lot of damage. The only thing that wrecks me is like a second, um, a second deluge or a second casualties. And I'm much more apt to think that I'm going to get beat up by a Snapcaster than a second one. So you know what, we're just going to, I'm going to turn the heat up.
Okay. Strix is annoying. Strix is very annoying. You got my land. One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna attack. I kind of want to attack with everything. Because like my Pyromancer is a problem and Scary Terry is a problem. Yeah, I think I'm just going to turn them all sideways. There's a lot of value to getting my opponent's life total really low with the amount of reach. I think I've got like six bolts in my deck. And this just saves me the mana so that I don't have to adapt. Because now if they fetch or one of my elementals gets in, they're in bolt range. Even now they're in bolt range. Just because of the deluge. Like there feels like like there feels like a hump in a lot of Delver games where you can get up to the hump and the hump, like the top right here is when they're at three life, and then it kind of feels downhill from there sometimes. I kind of want to just look again. I think I'm going to. I might be spewing these brainstorms a little bit, but like. Put this back, put this back, can't force. So I guess I'll just go like this. And then I can just wait. I can bolt my opponent in their upkeep. Or I can just wait, play true name, bolt, or just bolt with force of will backup. Try to figure out the best way to do this. Because like, I'm probably going to win. I just want to like definitely win. Yeah, I kind of just want to bury the true name put the force on top and then just do it next turn. Cause I can't beat spell players, can't beat fluster storm anyway. So we're just gonna go like this. True name's gonna be a nice little um, way to mop it up. No. Okay, so now I wanna brainstorm so that my true name nemesis is on top of my deck. I'm just going to bolt my opponent. If they counter this, then I'm going to brainstorm so that the true name nemesis is on top of my deck. Okay. It didn't really, again, it, it didn't really matter, but like, you know. If shit would have hit the fan, I could have set up so it was lethal the turn after. All right, so we got no cantrip or second land, but we're on the draw. We have nine hits and 13 other lands. Like this this uh, true name's a little awkward with so few lands, but like such is life. All right, that's a nice follow-up for next turn. So we haven't seen island from our opponent. We haven't seen a wasteland from our opponent yet. So we just ain't gonna worry about it. If my opponent goes to him me here, I think I'm gonna force and pitch the true name. Okay, so they're not doing that. Because I'm I'm really far off casting the true name, and I have two more in my deck. All right, flip for me, Delver. Ooh.
So let's get in here. And then we're going to ponder and find our second land. It's a fluster storm. Not going to pay. Here we go, Delver. Here we go. Forty five people watching. I appreciate everybody showing up and hanging out today. I guess I just have to let this go because they're they're just like projecting like I have a counter spell. Alright, well they hit the two cards I wanted in there. So I think I'm gonna wait because I don't want my opponent to go like I don't want this to get countered and then have my opponent go like Jace bounce your Delver. Like we get to deal with the Jace, but with one land, we're a little constricted. So I'm gonna look to brainstorm at the end of my opponent's turn. All right, well, this is sad. Eat. Eat my Delver. We drew too many lands last game. We haven't drawn enough this game. We, we need to balance it out. Yo, these wastelands would have been nice also here with them fetching two underground seas. So I don't really care if this thing pluses. What I do care about is if it pluses, I miss a land, they're able to play a Jace. But I would have to like lands two and three. I think I'm just gonna get rid of this thing right now. I just have never liked my wastelands against the basic land deck. But like they have maybe they know that. This effect is symmetrical. I can just bolt it next turn. I'm gonna look for a land. We did. We super did. It just blue black, yeah. We super dead. All right, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. All right, so I'm just going to bolt this right now. I guess I might as well chain lightning it. <laughs> yeah, I just, I like, 
a lot of the times in the past, I've cut down to decks with like nine, eight or nine cantrips in it, and I've gone low on lands. And like most of the time, it works out. It didn't work out this time. Well, we're getting jaced. All right, right click, concede game. Well, I could hit another land and blast this, so like I guess I'll wait. And just kind of hope they have nothing. That's just the opposite of nothing. All right, I'm good now. Okay. So finished out with a 2-3. Um, let me put the deck back in order here, then I'll chit-chat about it, and then we can move on to the next one. This is over here. These are over here. And these are over here. So win 2-3, I mulligan to Oblivion against... Um, Storm in the first game to loss, first round to lose. I can't remember what I played next. I beat a Delver Mirror. I beat Infect and I lost the Blue Black. Um, I don't know. I think this deck's fine. Like, it's got a lot of reach. Um, True Name's a good threat. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think I think the deck's fine. Like. It's just a good deck. Like, you might be able to get away with not having as many basic lands moving forward because I think that Moon Stompy decks are on the decline, but I'm not like a super metagame person. So, 